Alrighty YouTubers, well I decided to make a, a little video here if you ever decided to uh, get your ham license and uh, transmit uh, digital images through MMSS TV, the current version is 1.13a as an alpha, uh, I'll show you how you're going to do it. So right now I'm tracking the International Space Station. Uh, they got some good passes coming over my area here, so yeah, so we'll get back over here. So you want to send some images. So it, it's fairly simple. I use uh, MMSS TV to send it. And to the, uh, the double check it on the testing, I use RX-SSTV version 2.1.5. And you can see the guy's name here that developed a piece of software, which uh, kudos to him for making an awesome software that is free and is ad free so yeah but uh, yeah here you go so uh, real simple you just uh, say you get a QSO and you want to send something back to them while well, you just go here make sure you're in your you know you've got your templates so you just click on right click on templates go to load from file and you know wherever you got your files at it's easier if you got them all in a select or you know a specific folder but uh we'll go with which i have here my zx10r ninja but i'm not going to open that one because i already got it open there so i'm going to cancel that out so you got that loaded hit a populate here and then you just click on it and drag and drop it up to here and you got it on there now to uh, come back and you know put his call sign go to templates here a little T that says draw text and you know you just click on it there and it's going to pull up something there and we're just going to put in uh, HY8 uh, HT and this is a bogus uh, you know call sign and you can change your colors to whatever you want it to be and click OK and you can move it around just move it to you know somewhere you know it's going to stand out and then if you want to put your call sign back in there or anything else and then you know you can just uh, click here and do the exact same thing click on it there and it's going to pull that up there backspace I'll put my call sign K and you know put it somewhere you got to pick your color depending on where it's from you know so I got his call sign and my call sign and you can you know you can add a bunch of this stuff or you can make predetermined ones it doesn't really matter and then the only thing you really need to do after that is just go up here to TX pick which one you want you get better scan build uh, results on SC2180 and you know I, I you know the MMSS TV it's hit or miss I uh, yeah you guys just gotta play around with it on your settings that, that's an entire different video uh, for someone else that's got more time than I do but when you're ready to send it well, then you gotta do is just do this here and then you can see on your test window here now a word of caution if you are not a licensed ham operator do not get a cheap radio from Amazon that starts with a Bravo you know which runs I'm talking about they're 20 to 30 dollars do not try to do this because you will get into a lot of trouble but uh, if you are licensed then this is how you can send you know uh, you know QSO now uh, back to someone and here you go so you, all you got to do is just hit this button here
that's pretty much it and that that's how simple it is to do it now this program here the MMSS TV you can control your radio to do it but uh, I got a Gaiju G90 and so far I have not been able successfully to get it to interface with it but I cannot transmit on that frequency yet because I'm still just a technician class so do not do that if you aren't authorized to transmit on any frequencies you are not licensed to do you know just don't do it it's not worth the the headache you're going to incur but the one thing I did forget to mention uh, when you install the MMSS TV uh, you want to go to option go to setup you want to go to miss and whatever microphone if you're I'm running an external sound card because the built-in sound card on my computer for whatever reason just doesn't really work all that great so I bought a separate sound card and this is what it shows up in your device managers is a GS3 and you know you just hit this arrow button down and you know it'll tell you whatever one you want uh, output is your default you don't even really need to mess with that and that's it and just click OK and on this program here the RX SSTV version 2.15 it doesn't really give you any settings to change your uh, what type of microphone you're using so it, it seems to work pretty good now image quality well compared to what you're sending compared to what you're receiving is not the greatest and I've seen some YouTube videos that I cannot figure out for the life of me how they are getting such you know pretty good images and you know I'm getting you know stuff like this here but you know this is just a little neat way and you got all your different flavors you know on this program you can set it for whatever you want to receive uh, the MMSS TV has auto mode and I have not figured out how to disable that so depending on who is sending the signal it's going to detect it automatically so you can click Scotty or uh, SC2 180 it don't matter after a couple seconds it's going to go to auto mode and pick whatever the actual transmission was sent in but yeah I just figured I'd do this here real quick and uh, you know just kind of show you uh you know how easy it is to actually do it now actually hooking this program up to your radio uh whether you got a gaiju g90 or a yezu ft 991a or whatever radio you got you'll have to search in uh youtube for that because i don't know i'm having issues trying to get it set up to mine but even if i did could get it set up i'm not authorized to transmit on that because um I don't have the license for it so but here shortly uh, we got a testing center coming in January and hopefully I'll be able to get my general and be able to transmit on that frequency there the 14.230 but the International Space Station you know they're transfer transmitting on uh, what is it 145.800 on the 2 meter band so um, it, you know if you're a general class you can go on that band so yeah you should be able to do that but you know don't quote me I'm not a lawyer I don't know these laws but I just want to show you this is how uh, I did a test setup figured out how to get it and uh, the person that you got the uh, QSO from and adding your call sign and send them an uh, image uh, if they're running uh, MM, uh, MMS SSTV or you know the RX dash SSTV but yeah, guys, I uh, hope it's helped somebody out. It's pretty simple. And all right. Thank you.